Hi everyone, welcome back to the Clara CFO Group channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the tags in QuickBooks Online. What are tags? How do we set them up? How can we use that information to help our accounting system help us even more, have provide better reporting, provide better information so you can make decisions in your business. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you that. We're gonna try to keep it brief over here. And um, yeah, we're just gonna get into it in just a second. So if you could take a quick second and click the like button because it certainly does help me out and also helps other people see this type of information on the YouTubes. Um, and also make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you aren't already. I would appreciate it. And yeah, let's get going. Okay, so here we are in the QuickBooks Online um, platform and we're in the sample company like we have been for these other videos that we've been doing. Uh, but what I wanna show you today is tags. So there's a couple different ways that we can add tags. And the way that we add tags is that every single transaction, individual transaction can have a tag associated. And I wanna make sure that it's clear that we don't use tags to categorize stuff that's like vendors or customers, because um, if you look in the sales, we already have places for us to put customer tags and we have places for us to put vendor tags. So tags are kind of a special thing that they are for other stuff, other stuff that you might wanna um, that you might wanna track potentially temporarily. So you might say, hey, I have this event that I'm trying to do and I want to know whether or not it's profitable. So, but I don't really want to get it. I mean, maybe all the income is coming in together in one big um, or coming from the same source, or maybe um, you have some special expenses, but they're just here and there. You don't want to modify your whole PL to say like event income and then event expenses. Maybe you just want to be able to use your, you know, general income account, but tag some of that incoming income as the special event or maybe, and then those expenses as well. So you can run a you know profit and loss statement on just that tagged information. So that is what we can do with tags and I wanna show you how to get there. So the first way you can get there is by going up to the gear icon and going down here to lists and then go to tags. And in this situation, this is, you can break down a lot of this information with tags, but we can go here and I've set up a couple tags just for this video so we can look at that, but you can go and you can, create a new one or a tag group, which is a group of tags, pretty self-explanatory, or you can just create a tag by itself and it can remain ungrouped if you want to. So let's just say, um, let's let's use my, uh, my event example and we can put in here event on April 13th. Okay, that's when this video is being recorded. And if that's the case, I can do that and then I could tag things specifically for just this one event that happened on April 13th. Okay, um, let me show you where you can find these tags in the transaction. So let's go ahead and just click on, let's say an invoice. So let's say an invoice was coming in and you wanted to tag it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this invoice. Every transaction, like I mentioned, will have a tag. We are a place to input a tag and you don't have it on this product service line level. You have it on the upper level, the invoice level. Um, that's going to be your transaction amount level. So you wouldn't be able to individually break out this product to be one tag and this product to be another tag. It needs to be on this upper transaction level. So um, I've already set up some location tags in here as well as staff tags. So I'm going to go ahead and um, tag this as a staff. Um, and then let's just put it as an event as well. And then the location is rented. So I can select multiple tags in here, which means I can have multiple different types of reports. Okay. So I can do that on an invoice level and I'm just going to go ahead and save that. Now that's how you would do it on an invoicing or on the sales side. You can also do it on the expense side. I'm going to go in here and just click a random expense and you'll see kind of it's set up very similarly where you can go ahead and tag things here as well. All right, we're gonna save and close. All right, so you can do that, and this is completely up to you, however you like to do it. You can also go in here into uh, transactions and you can go to manage tags directly from here, and you can create a tag if you'd like, and you can you know set up anything you'd like right there and it's really for this this is at the creativity of whatever is happening in your business so you can set up tags and this will help you 
Um, if you like, like I said, if you want to break down information in some other way that's different than how you have your PL broken out. Um, what I want to show you real quick is how to do some reporting. So let's go ahead and run a PL. And what I'm going to do is go over here to display columns by. And this down at the bottom of this list will be any tags. Now it doesn't tell you that they're tags. I just happen to know that staff and location are tags that we do have. So if I put ungroup tags in here, um, there was only one ungroup tag that I had and that was event on April 13th. And here I can see that there's a discount and then job materials. These items were on an invoice. So they were all tagged and they're showing up on this, you know, little PL, kind of a mini PL, if you will, just for this tag. And if I wanted to do it by staff, I could run that as well. And here you go. Here's the staff. Now this time I have some design income and then I have some other things here. So um, this is just the staff, Daniel. You can see it right there in the column name. So if I had multiple staff, this would show multiple columns. And then you can filter it from there. There's actually some custom filters you can do over here. Um, you can do the staff as the columns and then usually there's another way that you can filter by a specific um, by a specific staff. So let uh, I just wanted to tell you guys about this. I wanted to tell you that, and I wanna keep this brief, but check out tags, think about what it is, you know, hey, it would be nice in my financial reporting if I could see this broken out separately. So think about your own business, Think about what is it that you would like to see broken out. And this is most valuable when you might have, um, you know, some income and expenses around some other category, like the event example that I gave you really, really clearly um, that you could see, okay, um, is this one event profitable or is this event worthwhile? Sometimes it's hard to tell when everything is lumped in together and it's really hard to break out the cost very specifically. So um, check this out. This is something that can be very, very helpful. And if you're using a bookkeeper along with tags, make sure that your communication is very, very good so that they can make sure that they're tagging things correctly as stuff comes in. All right. Well, um, I hope that's helpful. This gives you another way to utilize and optimize QuickBooks Online. And if you haven't gotten started with QuickBooks Online already, be sure to check out the discount code in the description box below. This uh, video is not sponsored by QuickBooks, but we do, we are an affiliate of their program of QuickBooks Online because it's what we like to use the most with our clients. So um, check that out. If you haven't gotten started, we have a 12 month discount that is available. So be sure to check that out. And what else? Uh, get your QuickBooks optimization checklist. That is also in the description box below. That is completely free. And it's a way for you to go through and see if you've done everything with your QuickBooks online account to see if it's something that, um, if there's any other way that you can leverage QuickBooks online a little bit better. All right. Well, thank you so much. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.